This is an ABC Action News, tracking the tropics update. Sponsored by these valued partners. Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Jason Adams with your Saturday morning tropical update. The National Hurricane Center giving us an update as of 8 a.m. A 70% chance that our tropical disturbance we've been watching here between the Caribbean and the Gulf right in the Yucatan Channel develops over the next two days. A 90% chance over the next seven days, but within two to three days this system will likely have a name or a number and it will develop and move to the north. Will it move into the Panhandle or the Peninsula? That is still yet to be determined, but we are beginning to see forecast models kind of congealing on an area here in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico. Show you that here in a second. Second, but there's the disturbance trying to get those thunderstorms organized around its area of low pressure that's developing. So not too much to it right now. We'll likely take another day, day and a half before this does eventually get that name or number. It could even be two days before we see that happening. But most forecast models want to take this somewhere between the Panhandle and the peninsula, targeting an area here along the Forgotten Coast into the Appalachian Bay or the Nature Coast. That will still, of course, deliver impacts here at home. And we are concerned about high tide and water rises that happen here Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday with Wednesday being the highest tide of the month. So that's something we're going to have to watch whether it stays to our west or to our east. And I caution you when you look at this thinking, oh, OK, it's going to our west. Remember with Hurricane Ian last year, most of the models kept it west and it moved well to the east of where those forecast models were going. So we got to track this day by day for you and we'll continue to do so here from ABC Action News. I'll show you the American model versus the European model. These are very two very reliable models that we use. The white circle is the center of low pressure here with the American model. The red circle is the center with the European model. And notice as we fast forward to your Wednesday, more west for the European or for the American model, I should say, and more east for the European model. Both of these coming in as strong tropical storms or minimal hurricanes. So we'll have to watch this very closely for us as we go into the next couple of days. But right now it's nothing to worry about here for Saturday and Sunday's forecast at home. It's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday that will likely see those impacts developing here. So there's that system. There's Franklin on its way to becoming a hurricane here over the next couple of days. The next two areas to watch 20 to 40 percent chance of development with this one in orange. Not a concern with it moving more north. This one it's still more than seven days away from potentially developing. So we'll watch it for you, but nothing to be concerned of as at this point.